Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to enable or disable the arrow shake feature in Windows 10. So if you have a lot of windows or programs open at the same time, this screen might become very cluttered. So what arrow shake does is it lets you quickly minimize all of the non-active windows. So if I just shake on my Word document here, we can see our other two windows go down and are minimized. So, and then if we shake our window again, we can see the other windows we minimized have been restored. So, I'm going to be showing how to disable this feature if it's annoying to you, and also how to enable it if for some reason it is disabled. So, first you have to be logged in as an administrator or this will not work. So once we've established that we're using an administrative account, what we're going to do is head over to our start menu and we're going to type in local group policy editor. It should be listed as a control panel entry. We want to left click on it. Underneath the user configuration settings, we want to go down to administrative templates and click on the drop down arrow. And from there, we want to click on the desktop folder. On the right side here, underneath some of the settings, we want to double click on this entry near the bottom that says turn off arrow shake window minimizing mouse gesture. So double click on that. In order to disable the arrow shake, we have to select Enabled. By clicking Enable, this will turn off arrow shake window, minimizing mouse gesture. And if we click on the Disabled button, this will actually enable the arrow shake window, minimizing mouse gesture. I'm just kind of being a little bit redundant here, but I have to make that clear that enabling this will disable the arrow shake and disabling it will enable the arrow shake. I just want to make that very clear. So I'm going to set it to be enabled and then I'm going to click on apply and OK. And I'm going to close out of the local group policy editor. And if I open up a couple more windows again just to show that it's been disabled successfully. So if I shake this window again, we see that the other window has not minimized. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.